What's up guys? In this short tutorial, I will show you how to boost your FPS and overall performance when playing Borderlands 3. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. As the game just came out, there should be future updates to improve the performance on low to mid end PCs. First of all, we will change the in game settings. Go to Visibles, and here set the display mode to full screen, and below you can lower the overall resolution of the game. This will lower the visual quality, but should in turn improve the performance. Next, you could lower the resolution scale if you want to. Set the frame rate limit to custom and the frame rate to 144. Next, in the advanced settings, use DirectX 11 as your graphics API. Turn on performance stats in order to see your FPS and lower the settings below, such as the overall quality. Turn off anti-aliasing Set the texture streaming quality to low, anisotropic filtering to two times and apply your changes. Next, leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here, in the processes tab, right click the Borderlands 3 process and select to go to details. In the detailed section, the Borderlands 3 executable should be highlighted. Simply right click the process and change the priority to high. This will improve your performance, especially if other programs are running in the background. You can also disable some programs from starting up on System Boot in the Startup tab. You can now close your Task Manager and Borderlands 3. When this is done, open up your File Explorer. Here, navigate to your Documents, My Games, Borderlands 3, Saved, Config, and lastly, Windows Snow Editor. Open up the Game User Settings.ini file with a text editor like Notepad. Here, you will be able to adjust your settings a bit more if you want to. For example, enter a custom amount for your resolution scale if 75 is too low. And as the resolution size X, resolution size Y, and last confirmed resolution size settings, you can enter a custom resolution. This is especially useful if you're using a monitor with an abnormal aspect ratio. Lastly, I suggest you to update your graphics driver. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, then update your driver in the GeForce Experience application. Here, on the Drivers tab, simply select Download and the program will download and install the update for you. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.